on Love Last Girl. Oh my God! I don't know where to look first. <laughs> There's just so, so much going on. What is this? Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, I wouldn't trust her to style me unless it was for Halloween. Oh. I would run. 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 I would run. Run. Are you getting a little bit oh, teary? Because it is me. <laughs> to personal style your look says a lot about who you are but what kind of message are you really sending does the world see you the way you see yourself well i asked and i found out and now i'm gonna fix it on love lust or run wow i mean just wow I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm like, oh my god! Oh my god! Can I give you a hug? Oh yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know where to look first. <laughs> There's just so, so much going on. Oh, let me take you all in. Okay. And, oh wow! In the <laughs> oh, do a little. What is this? Oh my goodness! <laughs> all right. I'm Takoya Kristen. I'm 28, and I'm Silas. I'm also an owner of an online boutique called Copycat Boutique. My style is loud, experimental, bright, colorful, and definitely confident. To do my hair and makeup, it takes about three hours to get all of this fabulousness. Welcome to my closet. These are really, really sweet pants. They definitely get good and bad attention. I like to coordinate my hair with my lipstick, blue hair, blue dress, add to my blue lips. I'm fly, so I can touch me. <laughs> I'm Koya from Copycat at Copycat. We do a variety of things from wardrobe styling to makeup services. I'm not sure I could pull off the blues or the greens. When I typically try to style people that are more on the conservative side, I usually get, you know, kind of a standoffish vibe. They're looking at my appearance and not really trusting my experience and my ability. Let's go over to the mirror. Let's see how that looks on you. The neon lipstick was a little over the top for me. I probably would be a little bit hesitant to let her style me. <sighs> I know I can style any type of woman from hippie, chic, contemporary, conservative, but I feel like my look is definitely holding me back from that. So it's dire need that Stacey helps transform me. How did this style get started? Have you always dressed this way? Actually, no. I actually was a tomboy growing up. Didn't even care about my parents. And my first job was at a makeup company. And they're like, well, you can't dress like, you know, a tomboy in here and sell makeup because people are going to trust you. So I was like, okay. And they tried a little bit on and I just kind of went to 1,000 on it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You really embraced it. So tell me how you moved into styling. Basically, you start out with my friends first. But I kind of got into style, basically, I'm like, girl, I don't, I'm like, oh, me? Yes, you are. I don't. <laughs> okay, tell me more. <laughs> but it's just like, people automatically see me and my personality, so they're like, oh, I don't know if she's going to have me looking like her. I don't try to force my style on other people. The hallmark of a great stylist mm -hmm. is never imposing your personal style on another person. Exactly. Right? Yes. But when it comes to styling, the client is always concerned about what the stylist looks like. You're right. But that doesn't mean that you should lose your fly <laughs> style. I really don't want to lose myself. I think that's the most scariest thing is it changing me because I don't want to lose Takoya. Letting go of the past and not knowing what yeah. to say in the future is very, very scary. Like, this is safe because I've been doing it for so long. I think that's why it's hard for me to change myself because I'm like, it's safe. Now, no, I don't know what's safe about this. I mean, <laughs> I don't feel like you're safe walking down the street in this. No. We're going to need to figure out something that still feels powerful, yes. that still feels fashionable, mm -hmm. but that can attract a wide variety of people to you. And this look is too extreme for that. You know, <laughs> we agree about that, yes? Yes. All right. And, and just to prove that point, I think it's important to hear sort of, you know, what people on the street are saying. So come, follow me. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> that ass envy is growing and growing and growing. All right. You stand right there. Okay. okay. <sighs> now, we went up into the street with your look and we asked people whether they loved it or whether they lusted after it or you or whether they wanted to run. This is the look that we showed people and let's hear what they had to say. <laughs> oh no, this is no, uh-uh. You're laughing at me. I think her style's a little confused. <laughs> it's pretty uh, loud with the colors. There's just a lot going on. Would I let this woman style me? No. Oh. No, I wouldn't trust her to style me unless it was for Halloween. I'd definitely run. Lost. Run. 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 I would run. I would run for sure.
Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, did that? What did... does he mean? I know. People are mean. Are you getting a little bit too it? Because it is me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Because I'm like, I'm really good at what I do. And I've been doing it for a long time, so it really, it does hurt. I don't want you to internalize what's being said. I want you to recognize that you, you've already come here, mm -hmm. and this is just confirmation of what you knew yeah. to be the problem. Exactly. Right? So you know what we're going to have to do to do that. Oh, no. Can I keep my eyebrows? No. <laughs> You're going to take everything off. Can we remove that hair? Or is this so fantastic? So go. Let's get started. I didn't even notice that those leggings are printed with candy. Candy ass. <laughs> I definitely have butterflies in my stomach, and I feel like I'm going to pass out. My hands are sweating. I want to change and be more conservative to reach conservative clientele, but I don't want to lose all this fabulousness. Don't! Don't! What are you doing? I feel like I'm naked. I feel like I'm going to jail, honestly. Your energy level, it's like... What colors of the rainbow are off limits when it comes to lipstick? Every color except for red, pink, and nude. What about blue? Maybe if it was, you know, that sort of occasion. What sort of occasion calls for blue lipstick? A blue party? Like a blue period? We're, we're going to have a blue period party. I know I need Stacey's help because I want to be able to attract conservative clientele. I'm willing to change, but as long as it doesn't change, who Koi is. Ow, oh, that hurts. Whew. I feel naked. I don't feel like myself. This is a mental breakdown. I feel like I'm melting on the inside. This is like torture. Ugh. My eyebrows are mine. They're my jewel, my face. Ugh. Ugh. I don't even want to look at myself. Your eyebrows, what, what's wrong with your natural eyebrows? I have a scar. I so have a scar, like, too. See, it was, okay. see, well, it was destined. It was destined. <laughs> I feel naked. I feel like I'm going to jail, honestly. I do. I'm like, I have nothing on. I feel so naked. Fair enough. You are wearing a bathrobe. I and know. We, did, we did take away all, all of your... All my tensions are out, so yeah. that's a biggie, too. Yeah. Your mood, everything, your energy level, it's like... <sighs> Ugh. No, not for nothing, I just want to come over here. You are a beautiful lovely woman mm -hmm. but does it come from all of the crazy that you had in that one outfit i didn't know where to look yeah right and yeah, now exactly. what i'm looking at my face. is this chain <laughs> of punam which in yiddish means pretty face Ooh, I learned a word. <laughs> her personality and her joy are so what i want to keep and i don't want it to be dependent on wild accessories or clothes or heels that personality is hers to own we just have to find a way to express it that makes her feel just as confident all right sweetheart get your tush in here <laughs> welcome to the eloquy showroom we have some gorgeous things for you to try on and eloquy is a great online shop that allowed us to use their showroom in order to show you pieces in real life I want to talk to you about the idea that you're going to play stylist to yourself as a client. Yes. I don't want you to think about this as trying to dress yourself. I want you to think about trying to dress a client who needs a professional yet creative look. Okay. I'm loving this top. It's yeah. kind of caught my eye first. Mm-hmm. Needing this cute jacket. Uh-huh. Like the shirt with the pants. That's the first outfit you're going to try on. Like this. We're going out. This over top. Mm -hmm. All right. Watching you choose outfits says to me that you do have a skill to mm -hmm. this, that you could pull off a lot of different looks for a lot of different kinds of clients mm -hmm. if given the opportunity. Yes. You got to get in the door. I know. And um, I don't know that a, a necklace that says fly is enough. <laughs> Tell me what you do and don't like. I can't explain this. It's, my eyes are going crazy. Toya, if you said that you couldn't explain why something didn't work to a client, I would fire you. All right, girl. I'm here. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Again. Oh, my goodness. So, boss. I do love it. I didn't think dress pants could look this white on me. Well, it's a good pant. Now, let's take the jacket off for a second. Yeah. 
this painterly top is such a, a great alternative. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'm worried about. I'm going to let you get this outfit, and you're going to go put yellow lipstick with it. And that <laughs> is not going to work for me. Okay. So what I want to talk about is a, is a lipstick that doesn't necessarily have to match okay. what you are wearing mm -hmm. that will go with what you're wearing. And see, I never wear red ever because I think it doesn't look great on me. This is a much more natural makeup color. It's meant to enhance your natural features, not to enhance the outfit. All right. This isn't just about putting outfits together. It's also about finding the best cuts for your body. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, when you have a larger tush, right, area, this can be an issue for the pant, only because the inseam yeah. is going to sag because mm -hmm. you don't have the same amount of volume in the front that you do in the rear. And this is pulling a little bit here. Yeah. So I want to make sure that everything fits correctly. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> show me outfit two. Okay. Oh, a lot going on. All right, come here. I feel like I'm about to go to church. Uh, tell me what you do and don't like about this. I love the jacket. I don't think this skirt is really flattering. I just can't yeah, explain this. It's just, my eyes are going crazy. Okay, so, Toya, if you said that you couldn't explain why something didn't work to a client, I would fire you. Now, just hey, heads up, as a stylist, you have to be able to tell somebody why something doesn't work on them and give them an alternative. I don't think this is age appropriate. The idea that a midi link makes you feel a little bit more matronly mm -hmm. and that you'd want it to the knee, now that makes sense. And maybe the green top is yeah. the right top. Like, I think white would be a lot more cohesive. And then you can add the jacket. You add the jacket. Because I don't think the jacket and the top are color coordinated right. very well. I think well. that might be what it is. What is great about the jacket is the zippers. Why would you recommend this to a client? Definitely gives a little spunk personality, a little edginess to it without going overboard. <laughs> without going overboard. <laughs> so, okay, now show me your evening look. <laughs> you did choose that, didn't you? I did. I never twinned me. Okay, yeah. Hashtag twinning. You're like my mini me. I know. Yeah. All right, wait a second. Hold on. Let's see this whole thing. What's going on here? I actually love this jacket on you. I, th I feel like the jumpsuit's a little bit big. Yeah. But this is a great look. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this? I do like it. Huh, that's funny because <laughs> you're not wearing any color. You're not wearing clashing prints. You've got nothing going on here except that you look like me. You, you are more subdued. I will say that that is true. Do you feel like you're not being true to yourself? Probably more so because it's conservative. You think that's conservative? Because that, that's the, my biggest thing. I don't want to go into being older to be conservative. I still want to be recognized like she's a 28-year-old. Okay, fair enough. But I think there's more to this than that. Okay, take the jacket off for a second. <laughs> Now, I think this jacket has a zillion different uses. The idea that you have a jacket that's, you know, fitted, that you can wear with everything from a t-shirt and jeans to an evening gown. It's got a multi-use value, therefore it's, you know, worth whatever it costs because you're going to be able to wear this in so many different situations. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, the whole issue here has been you can't look like a hot mess if you want a ton of clients yes. as a stylist. I definitely have to explain my credentials with this on. They would focus on more what I had to say versus what I have on. Me impressed. The woman can actually back up her talent. I know, booty challenge. I gotta put my butt on yours to give you back. I mean, I, just, I don't even have a butt. Like, having to choose the clothes herself today kind of gave her a, a little bit more confidence to see herself in a more sophisticated light. <laughs> I'm extremely nervous. I want to still be youthful and fun, but I'm very particular about how I get my hair done. I don't want to look like somebody's grandma, nor do I want to look like a soccer mom. I just want to be Takoya when I get done. <sighs> I'm nervous. I was so touched and moved by the fact that you thought that I was like a, a style guru or something. <laughs> But I find it so hard to believe because you can't have heard a word I ever said walking in the hot mess that you were. <laughs> now, you proved that you have the talent. You showed me that you could style. And I hope that you are ready for what you're about to see. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Takoya, this is what you look like now. Wow. <laughs> you look at what... I look so hot. <laughs> I did, like, I feel hot and sexy. 
nothing about it. I, I wouldn't change anything, even down to the shoes. I look amazing. This is crazy. That's why you are who you are, Stacey. Talent is going to get you where you want to be, mm -hmm. but really, the way that you present wow. yourself is what's going to get you in every door. I love my hair. Like, I was so worried about the hair, and I love this. I desperately wanted you to go back to your natural hair because I think it's so gorgeous. And the mm -hmm. fact that we put some highlights in it, instead of blue, we put mm -hmm. a little bit of blonde, a little bit of caramel. And to me, that just, that just highlights your face, right? Mm -hmm. We did makeup. We did the eyeliner. We did some sparkle. But yeah. we added an appropriate lip. Yes. Now, you're doing something that's very on fleek. And for the kids at home that don't know what that means, it means on point and yes. super trendy. <laughs> it's about mixing different prints. Mm -hmm. But the way to do that well is obviously to keep them in the same color palette. Mm -hmm. So we added a little bit of turquoise and pink and kept the black and white, the sort of cementing colors. Exactly. Also, we added the belt to really define your waistline, which I think mm -hmm. is great. But the idea of this outfit was that all of these mix and match pieces mix and match with other things. Mm -hmm. You can wear that top with anything. You can wear the skirt with anything. Thing. You walked in in two prints, and I kept you in two prints. And that's why I love you, Stacey. <laughs> All right, we took this look back out into the street and asked people whether they loved it or lusted after you or <laughs> wanted to run. But let's just be sure and see what people had to say, okay? She looks like she's fierce. She looks like she's a lot of fun, very put together, very classy. I think her style is sophisticated and sexy. Oh. If she walked into the room, I would definitely think that she was the boss. Would I let this woman style my mother or sister? Absolutely. I would for sure let her style me. I love it. Love. Love. I love her look because I think she knows who she is. Love. 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 <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> Talk to me about that nobody takes you seriously as the boss. I would let her sell my mom or my sister. I clearly, know. age difference there. Yes, I couldn't be more happier, honestly. This is like, that's what I wanted. I wanted people, as soon as I walk in, to know I'm not the assistant, but no, I'm the boss. Like, no, no, yeah. I'm trying not to break down because I want to mess my makeup up, but oh, oh, oh. this is definitely like a life changing thing. <laughs> oh, no, don't. You are. It is. Is. I, can't, I can't take it. Takoya is a dream. She was lovely to begin with and so lovely to end with that I kind of feel like maybe she should come and be like my sidekick on the show. <laughs> Spin off? Anyone? I adore you. Go kill him. Thank you. Will you give me a hug or something? Yes. <laughs> Stacy did it. I mean, she did all of this, and I didn't lose any fabulous. I gained more fabulousness. I always knew I had the ability and confidence to be a great stylist, but I feel like with this new style, I'm definitely going to turn it up 100% and be successful. I'm going to make Stacy so proud that she's going to have a picture on her fireplace with me.